up, man? We back. Welcome back to the live, realest, dopest, hardest, flyest YouTube channel on the planet. I have a fuego in my mouth. A what? Fuego. Fuego? That's a cold sore. Yeah. Y'all, they hurt so bad. I know. Type in the comments. Let me know if you uh, you, you had one. You better get I you know some abrigo. Everybody and their mama had one before in their lifetime. And if you didn't, and if you say you did it, you know you were lying. All the kids are sick. Houston's sick, got a runny nose. I'm sick. Gigi's sick, Leah's sick. I better not get sick. I feel like crap, you guys, but I gotta stay strong because all my children are sick, so. She just got back from her sister's house. Got back from the south side. <laughs> and I was just chilling. Wicked. Ooh, baby, look at it. We shining. Anyway. <laughs> We're on our way to Taco Bell. Ain't no steak and shrimp today, baby. It's the first of the month. All the bills is due. We're going to Taco Bell. We're going to be on the toilet tonight. I, I like Taco Bell. You got to know what to order at Taco Bell. I don't like Taco Bell like that, no. Make a right. Where's Taco Bell? Right okay. by the uh, Dairy Queen. Thank uh, you. Man, you know, daily blogging is like a, a human experiment, like a family experiment that we don't know the outcome of. And I feel like you got to have an exit strategy when you daily blogging or when you just blogging because you don't want to blog forever. You know what I'm saying? You got to have some kind of exit strategy because when you're blogging every day and you're putting your whole life on the camera and you're doing putting your whole family on the camera, it takes a toll. And I don't want my kids to feel like I'm doing nice things for them just for the blog. Or I don't want Kelly to feel like I'm doing nice things for her just for the blog. Because that's not what it is. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, I don't mind, baby. You want to spoil me? Go ahead, kid. Record it, put it on YouTube, put it on Instagram, put it wherever you want to put it. <laughs> well, I don't want my kids thinking that. But before we blog, we still did what we, what we do on the blog. When what y'all see us doing, we was doing that before the camera came on. That's just really what we do. You know I what I'm saying? I think we used to do more. But I don't want people. I don't want them, my family, to feel like we gotta do stuff for the blog. Or I don't want them to feel like it's a job, like we have to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's what's not good about daily blogging. I've I've come to the conclusion. That daily blogging is good when it when it on the financial side is good because it pays more when you daily blog. You know what I'm saying? But it takes a toll on your well-being, if you know what I mean. Because it gets stressful, man, when you start feeling like it's a job. Anything, if anything that you're doing seven days a week, you're gonna get tired of it. Whether it's rapping or vlogging or whatever it is even if it's something that you like doing if you just do it every day you're gonna get burnt out and not want to do it no more so really we ain't been turning the camera on as much as we you, well yeah we did vlog this morning we ate breakfast we did vlog a little bit i thought this was the first time we got on camera but i guess not but basically what lucky is well adding to what lucky is saying is We've been vlogging every single day. We have this 90 day challenge going and it does get a little hard, especially cause real life is real life and certain things that we have to handle off camera. And you know, even then, like when people work, they have an off day, like they have a break and we don't really get that. Like we, we challenged ourselves to vlog every day for 90 days straight. And it's like, damn, sometimes like today I woke up not feeling good. Houston's not feeling good. I'm tired. I've been tired ever since school started. And I just want to look like like this. I don't want to have to put on no makeup, do my hair. I don't, <laughs> don't want to have to look cute. And it's just sometimes it puts, it puts like a lot of pressure on you because you know that you got to turn on the camera, that we promised something and that we have to deliver. And... That's just that's just my 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 end of this whole situation. I just And too, we do it for y'all that watch that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't have families and they're alone 
or they might have families that are broken families or they come from broken families or they just unhappy or in a low place in their life and they watch our families and it gives them a glimpse of hope or gives them happiness or makes them laugh so we really do it for y'all you know what i'm saying that's why we continue to do it because the positive feedback that we get from the blogs so that's why we continue to do it but it does take a toll on your well-being having to do it every day putting your whole life on the camera every day all day what are you tearing up back there, boy? The water bottle. Y'all, sometimes Lucky be like, go put your makeup on. And I'm like, damn. You know, well, come on, baby. It's lights, camera, action. You know He's what I'm like, saying? You got to be some superstars get, around here, baby. You, you got to get camera ready. And I'm like. You got to get camera ready. It's lights, camera, action bro. around here, baby. Come no, on, man. No kid, no kid. You look pretty without me. Yeah, you to me. But you got to be the celebrity in your field. You know, let me tell you something I was watching today. I, I seen someone said something very important important and it made a lot of sense you could be good at something you could be real good at something but if you don't got the personality or the celebrity factor the person that does even though they're not as good as what you do they'll they're be, gonna stand out and they'll they're make good. more money they'll be a better earner than you just because they have the personality and the celebrity factor even if they not as good say let's take rapping for instance if you could be a dope rapper but if you don't got the personality and the character that go along with it if you're just like you know not a people person don't stand out and just quiet into yourself you're not going what you laughing at you laughing at me you talking about me no. I wasn't talking about me. I just pictured a little lame ass rapper that goes hard in the verses of what I'm just like picturing, you know? Yeah, and, and and then there can be another rapper that suck, but he wild, crazy. Yeah, and he has that same he has that celebrity factor, you know what I'm saying? That that character that stands out, the visual. And he gonna make more money and sell more just because of that. So back to what Kelly was saying. You know, she, we some dope bloggers, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta have a look to go with it, baby. Nah, honestly though, I get I get that, I get it, I get it. But you guys, like, a lot of these little bloggers, they ain't got five kids like we do. They don't, they don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't really, they got nannies, they got all this going on, like, and, and I'm just like, oh. And I'm just like, can I just get a break? Y'all type in comments, let me know. It's okay, it's okay to get on camera without getting all glamified. Let Lucky know because he be trying to press me on. Because I be looking back at some of them old videos and I was like, damn. I know. Why did I let her go out I, like I'm that? I'm not going to lie. I did, run across, <laughs> I did run across a video and I was just looking like, ugh, like why? Can we delete this video? Because I was just. But it Which was, video was it? It wasn't even my fault. It was Houston's first step. It wasn't even my fault. Like I had just left the little Indian place where they uh, thread my eyebrows. And she put like this darkening powder on my eyebrows. So I, I was looking a little rough, but it wasn't me. Like it was my eyebrows. She had made them long and dark. And so that kind of threw me off. And But I was looking back at that and I was like, yo, babe, you got to go back and, and delete this video. Because <laughs> I'm looking wild. I was. Well, see, I'm just trying to stop things from like that from happening. But you know what? It's okay. Because I'm not perfect, you guys. Nobody's perfect. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. But we just trying to stand out, so, you know what I'm saying? In my I'm opinion, trying to stick out like a swanger. In my opinion, I'm going to stay true. I'm going to be me. This is me, you guys. You're going to have me at my best. And if you love me at my best, you better love me at my worst. So with that being said, drops Mike. <laughs> we just pulled up to Taco Bell. Y'all tell me what y'all, type in the comments. Let me know what y'all get from Taco Bell. Baja Blast. I get the I get the Taco Supremes. I think I want a chalupa. Dorito Taco Supremes and a Burrito Supreme with no onions and no tomato. I'm gonna try to do your voice, babe. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be funny. How do you do it, babe? You just did it. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh yeah, I've never stuck it. You're so stupid. <laughs> 
I'm done. What do you want, babe? I want a burrito supreme, some Dorito tacos. How many? Taco party pack, what that is? 12 crunchy tacos, but they're not Taco Supremes. No, I don't want that. I want uh, Dorito Locos tacos. How many? Nacho cheese. Give me, give me three of them bad boys. And what about the kids? I got what they want. Okay, give me three Dorito Loco tacos. Regular or Supreme? Supreme, Supreme. nacho cheese. Okay. And a burrito supreme with no onions, no tomato. A burrito supreme, no onions, no tomato. And then I'll take a, a chalupa. What are you gonna get, Leah? A quesadilla. Beef, chicken, or steak on the chalupa? That's hard. Steak. Steak. And then give me a quesadilla, a chicken quesadilla. Okay. What else for you? That's it. I'm straight. That's it. Everything correct on the screen? Yes. You need taco sauce? Yes. yes. Hot. Hot. Okay. 31 can, can I get a Baja Blast as well? The drink or the freeze? Yeah, the drink. Okay. What else for you? That's it. 3289. It was just a dot. Just one more dot. All right, well, we're going to get up out of here. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all day. It's Monday. Run it up this week, man. I got faith in you. Remember, if you at rock bottom, the only place to go from there is up. Oh, yeah, baby. I ain't had Taco Bell in a long time, but it's got a distinct smell. Okay. That you know it's Taco Bell when you smell it. Tell me why Lucky got three tacos and a burrito, and everything is supreme. That just means I got sour cream. Oh. I only got a chalupa. That ain't gonna fill you up. This yeah, is dinner, you know this is dinner. I'm fine, baby. Taco Bell. Type in the comments to let me know if you like Taco Bell. Tomorrow, I'm gonna make y'all my famous chicken soup. Cause everybody's sick. And I'm really doing it out of my heart, not just for the blog. No, not for real. Whenever everybody gets sick, he does always make sure, he makes sure to take care of us. He buys all, all the medicine that we need and he makes us our chicken soup. And that chicken soup works miracles, you guys. Like, because I got my it, secret ingredients in there. As soon as you smell it, it's like your whole airway opens up. That's the little green peppers I put in there with that garlic on that onion. Did you know, did you know that garlic and yellow onion together cooked is a natural antibiotic google it damn he really ate all that damn food he ordered done. you look done to me this just camera off me to eat in peace <laughs> It's good, you need to put some hot sauce on it. Rick! Who did that? Mommy! <clears throat> did what? Update. Where is my white drink? Where is my white drink? I ended up eating one of the kids' burritos and my chalupa. And then Leo has not finished her quesadilla, so I'm gonna end up eating that too. I said I didn't want no Taco Bell, and here I am. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we go, we almost forgot. We gotta get to our birthday segment, you know what I'm saying? Our birthday segment has become part of the daily show. Cause there's so many of y'all that be having birthdays, so we gotta give our birthday, our daily birthday shout outs, man. Well, first one goes to Jose from Arlington. Happy birthday, my guy. I don't know how old you're turning, but happy birthday. Anthony Martinez turning 21 years old. Happy birthday. Salute to you, my guy. Our next one is for Aliana. Happy fourth birthday, baby girl. Javi G turning 42 years old already. Happy birthday, OG. Salute. A little bit of thunder. I got all this all it takes to take the pain away from my mistakes and say I had way